Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for uh, the privilege to be here today. Amen. Amen. Let's just lift up our voices and appreciate the Lord. Give him all the praise. Give him all the adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus. Receive all the glory. Receive all the praise. Receive all the honor. Hallelujah. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your awesome works. Lord, in our midst, in the name of Jesus Christ. We say thank you. We bless your name. We exalt you. There is no one like you, King of Kings, in the name of Jesus. Receive all the glory. Receive all the praise. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Wajabu. precious name we pray amen greet your neighbor on your left on your right tell them you're welcome it's good to see you once again in the name of with the smile on your face if they're not smiling don't say hi and have your seats in the presence of the lord hallelujah and to thank god and our father for this privilege even to share with us tonight from where we stopped last sunday amen Praise the Lord. Remember, we are looking at the precepts. Amen? Precepts. Ama Amri. And we ended up with the scripture in Isaiah. Should have been in Isaiah chapter 23, verse 9. Isaiah 23, verse 9. Kindly give us both versions. Isaiah 23, verse 9. The Bible says, says and sorry 28 verse 9 Isaiah 28 verse 9 he says whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine them that are weaned from milk and drawn from the breast verse 10 the precept must be upon precepts I hope you remember that precepts must be upon precepts okay don't just take one scripture 
and uh, you really don't understand it and you run with it. Okay? Remember the Bible says, give this beloved sleep. Remember that example. Okay? And you, it's eight and you're quoting that scripture. You're justifying your sleep. Praise the Lord. That will be laziness. Okay? Wake up, the Bible says, and you'll be satisfied with bread. Praise the Lord. You also need that scripture. Precept must be upon precept. Amri lazima you are Jew, you Amri. Kumana Amri, Jew, you Amri. Amri, Jew, you Amri. Kanuni, Jew, you Kanuni. Kanuni, Jew, you Nini? Kanuni. Huku kidogo na huku kidogo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So we need to be studious. We need to be studious of the word of God. Praise the Lord. I remember when we were growing up in high school, boarding school. Uh, if you've been in a boarding school, you usually have preps. Okay? They are usually preps. And uh, in the morning, asubu napata kila mtu wakona biblia. Siju ilikuwa ni culture mani nini. Kila mtu. Naka Gideon skale kadogo. Na mtu anasoma scripture. Okay? In a way, you just want to, f to feel spiritual. Praise the Lord. You just make sure you read one scripture like that. No, or a chapter. And especially Psalms. Because we think it's a very easy book. Amen. Okay? We read and read and read. I'm not downplaying that. What I'm just saying, kusoma ina kusaidia kujua. Praise the Lord. For me, I think most of the scriptures in this journey kifanya iyo tu. Ata kama ilikuwa ni desturi ama ilikuwa ni kama dini. Okay. Yes, I was just reading. Not really getting anything, but reading. Amen. But it helped me be conversant with the scripture. You can julisha ni fahamu mandiko vizuri. Kwa hivyo usidharau kusoma. Neza soma. Ay, tumiambua tusome mini tailoa nini apana. Soma. Utajua nini meandikwa. Praise the Lord. Utajua nini meandikwa. Na wakati wa kujaribiwa, kumbuka yesu alisema imeandikwa. So kama ujui meandikwa nini, utamuambia shetani nini. Praise the Lord. Na lipo sema imeandikwa, shetani anasema alimuacha, akampeleka mahali pengine. Akamujaribu na jaribu lingine. Bona sifiwe. So we need to know what is written. What is written, I need to study the word. I need to read it. Read. There is reading. Praise the Lord. There is also studying the word of God. Studying ni kuseme na sema ni kona shida ya ya nini? Simuniambi. Ni kona shida mibi na hasira. Bwana sifiwe. Unendo unatafuta kubibilia kuna mali kwingi. Kama sikuizi kuna smart bible ina kusaidia sana kusoma bibilia. Kama ukona simu tafadhali download bible yako. Na kama ukona smartphone na download bible. Siju tutakuambia aje. Takuwekilea nikono. Amen. You need a bible to help you to read. It will make very... Easy, easy. Una search to anger. Una search to uh, be controlling your tongue. Uko na shida na kuongea ongea. Eh? Usha pata tu anaongea tu. Tu anaongea. Praise the Lord. Kuongea. Utajua kuna maneno ya kuongea. Kuna maneno, praise the Lord, especially the book of Proverbs, will tell you how to talk. Amen. Talk. And there's how the righteous people talk. There is how wise people talk. It is all in the scriptures. Praise the Lord. So you just read about the tongue. Uh -huh. Unajua, oh, life and death are in the power of the, the tongue. So una, unakuwa careful sasa. Hizo ni precepts. Amen. Unajua, oh, sifai kuongea tu kuropoka. Praise the Lord. Kuongea venya nataka. Apana. Kuna vilo ukiingia katika ufalme huku na jinsi ya kuzungumza. Buwana sifiwe. Amen. Maybe wewe ujui kuishi na watu. Praise the Lord. You, there is what the Bible says about how to relate with people. Praise the Lord. Kwanza kuna mstari, I think ni Ecclesiastes inasema, ukua katika mbele ya mfalme, ata asiri yake kinuka, usitoke pali umeketi. Okay? Don't, usitoke mali umeketi, asiri yake kipa, kipanda. So inaniambia nini? Ata kama mkubu wangu wa menikasirikia, kuna watu wanamuone, shaha, baki yabo, kwa ni indio kazi peke yake? Hai, my friend, utatolewa kazi, kesho utaangaika hapo miaka mbili ukitafta kazi. Kwa sababu, au kujua kuongea. Praise the Lord. Because the word tells us how to speak. Na anasema ukika hapo, asira yake itatulia. Bwana sifiwe. Then kuna scripture pia inasema, a soft answer turns away wrath. A soft what? Answer turns away wrath. Kwa hivyo ukinirushia, sifai kukurushia. Bwana sifiwe, ukinirushia, kuna jinsi nafaa kuenda pole pole. Amen. Nita kutuliza, hata wata jiona, ai, eh, mbona na mshatia huyu na ananijibu tu vizuri ya na wasuasi. I really admire watu wenyo na, kuna watu hata uki, 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 uki kasirika vipi. Bado ananyenyekea kabisa mpaka pia mwenye umekasirika unasikia ah sio ni seme sorry lakini kwa sababu ya kiburi si seme sorry bwana asifiwe lakini amenyenyekea ame kuna mali pia wewe ameku amekutune kidogo because it is the word of god a soft answer turns away wrath praise the lord hallelujah 
Amen. Nataka nikiwe nikikwote scripture kama hiyo wewe mwenyewe unajua inasema iko wapi? Ha, amen. Nitajua kweli kuna watu wanakula Biblia hapa. Wanakula neno. Amen. <laughs> ah, ah, KDF. Kula neno, kula neno. Kula neno aya. Hao watu wanaimba lakini si kuimba tu ndundo. Ah, ah. Kuna jambo wanasema kula neno. Amen. Kula neno. Hallelujah. Leo tunataka tuangazie ah uh, tunaangazia maneno ambayo yako katika Biblia yana yana refer to the word of God na tukasema ya kwanza ilikuwa precepts. So today I want to maybe f- try to finish up there are quite many I'll see how many I'll cover. Then there's number two there's commandments. 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 Commandments na maanisha maagizo commandments maagizo please ukisikia commandments imaanishi 10 commandments is still one of them but there are so many praise the lord maagizo in kiswahili what does the commandment means they they mean divine authority a commandment is a command praise the lord a commandment is a command an order an order Commandment is also an instruction. And where I'm getting all these uh, words or mifano hiyo neno ni kutoka katika Genesis 26. Kuangalia Abraham. Genesis 26. Kuna jambo hapo Mungu alisema verse 5. Genesis 26 verse 5. Verse 5. Bili anasema kwa sababu Abrahamu alisikia sauti yangu akayahifadhi nini maagizo that means he kept my charge akayahifadhi maagizo yangu na amri zangu na hukumu zangu na sheria zangu praise the lord kwa hivyo usiseme tu Abraham 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 our father our father praise the lord Jesus said if you Abraham is your father then do the works of Abraham He did not just give. We only know about Isaac. Uh, uh, yes. We only know about Isaac when it comes to Abraham, but he was a follower. Praise the Lord. Can you see this testimony? Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes and my laws. He did not just become Abraham by name. No. He did all this. Amen. Yesterday we were here with the God servant and it, it was it was just admonishing us and he said uh he was quoting the scripture where I, Samuel akambia Saul in falme sema to obey is better than what sacrifice akasema kuna kitu Mungu amekuambia ufanye na ume, umesema hutafanya ume decide wewe umesema hutafanya lakini unakuja hapo namletea milioni moja kama sadaka bila nasema to obey is better than what sacrifice praise the lord that is a commandment he has commanded you to do something or to stop something praise the lord and you go ahead and do it but you know your spirit god did not want me to do this it can be something very simple don't go to that person's house and you go something very simple si semi kila kitu imeandikwa hapana hapana tutaona hiyo baadaye praise the lord lakini uende lakini ukuje hapo uambie bwana oh father we thank you for this offering lift up your offering you are very happy today umeongezea 100 umepea Mungu 1300 ha praise the lord it is obedience god is looking for obedience amen obedience praise the lord and you see abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge my commandments my statutes and my laws amen may this be our testimony praise the lord this is god giving testimony concerning abraham can you imagine god is testifying about abraham Huyu najua nikimwambia hii atanifanyia. Ndio maana Mungu hakuwa na shaka akiambia Abraham nipatie Isaac. Alijua this one Isaac atanipatia na alitoka mbio. Asubuhi na mapema bila sara kuamka. Akatoka. Praise the Lord. Ndio ati Mungu. Ati Mungu. He sacrificed to obey God. Obedience sometimes is very costly. It will cost you. But the rewards will be eternal. Amen. Praise the Lord. Commandments So we said a commandment is an order is a charge praise the lord uh let's look at leviticus chapter 26 verse 3 
Leviticus 26 verse 3. The Bible says, If you walk in my statutes and keep my what? Commandments and do them. Praise the Lord. 26, 26 verse 3. Leviticus 26 verse 3. If you keep my... Uh, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them. So commandments are to be done. Okay? Maagizo ni yakufanyo. Sini maagizo, by the way, maagizo. Ito yojina iko more clear. Maagizo, mekuagiza ni fanyi, umeagizwa, fanya hili. Nimesema ni kija, ni pata, umepika, iyo ni maagizo. Praise the Lord. Na mungu wanatuagiza kupitia neno lake. So commandments must be followed. They are to be followed. They are to be done. You need to do. Okay? There is a doing in your part. Utasema unachia mungu wapana. If God told you to give, he is not coming from heaven to give on your behalf. Amen? That's just an example. Praise the Lord. Again, Numbers chapter 9 verse 23. Numbers 9 23. Commandments. Commandments. I love that. Nasema Chapter 9 verse 23. Yes. Bali ilipo inuliwa walisafiri kwa amri ya buwana walipiga kambi yao. Na kwa amri ya buwana walisafiri. Walimti buwana kwa mkono wa msa. Buwana sifiwe. Kama unakumbuka mchungaji alisema hapa siku moja. Akiomba kasema kama mungu wajasema ni afanye hili. Ama anze kujenga ata jenga. Ata ngojea amri. Buwana sifiwe. Amri unangoja. Wali, walipiga kambi kwa amri alipoambia kaeni hapo wakatulia haya nisaya kuenda endeni bwana sifiwe ndiyo mana ni muhimu kuwa na msa katika maisha yako praise the lord mtu mwenye nasikia sauti ya mungu alasema haya toka uende toka uende lakini wengine wetu tuko ni sisi tuna, tunajipatia amri bwana sifiwe there is a place of authority praise the lord okay another uh, synonym of the word of god tumeanza precepts tukoenda commandments Sasa tuko katika judgments. 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 Psalm 72 verse 1. Judgments. Ukisoma zaburi, ukisoma Old Testament, utuona the word judgment sana. Judgment. Judgment na manisha nini? Hukumu. Praise the Lord. Na manisha hukumu. So when you talk of judgments, we talk about the justice of God. Justice. God is a God of what? Justice. Justice. Munasikianga chief what? Chief what? <laughs> justice. Nakuna kuna chief. Mungine juyake. Chief justice. Praise the Lord. Amen. But wa mungu, you can be sure. It's not about the law. Actually, I was just thinking. The, the law. Someone sat down. And wrote the law that we are following today. Sendio, mtu alika china kandika. Praise the Lord. Ndiyo hata kama umeua, you can plead not guilty. Na wende kwako na ulale. Because the law imesema, until you are found guilty, wafai kushikwa. Wana <laughs> sifiwe. But there's a God in heaven. Amen. He's a God of justice. Oh yes. Praise the Lord. He's a God of justice. What are some of the justice? written in the Bible. Psalm 72 verse 1 it says, give the king thy judgments. Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteous, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. E mungu mpe falme hukumu zako. Bwana sifiwe. Na mwana wa mfalme haki yako. Praise the Lord. Why would, why would, why would uh, David ask for this? Kwa nini mungu wa seme, anza kusema nipatia hukumu zako? What, to for what? Praise the Lord. For what? Hukumu za mungu zinaniambia. Uh, actually, ukiono kuna mtu wamekukosea. Ama kuna jambo limenda vibaya. Na mtu waka take advantage. Praise the Lord. There are judgments of God that will protect you. That is your law. Yenye unenda mungu ulisema hivi. Mbona nimefanyua hivi. Mbona sifiwe. Neno lako linasema hivi. Because you are, these are your righteous judgments. Praise the Lord. Judgments. Amen. Let's look at a judgment here in uh, Psalm 149. Psalms 149. 
from verse 6. Hmm. Sume tupole pole mpaka verse 9. Inasema sifa kuu za mungu na ziwe vinyuani mwao. Bwana sifiwe. Isi kuandi kwa tu ina, inakuambia. Sifa kuu za mungu ziwe kinyuani mwako. Hallelujah. Na upanga mkali wakuili mikononi mwao. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and two ages sword in their hands. Uh -huh. To execute vengeance ili kufanya kisasi juu ya mataifa na adhabu juu ya makabila ya watu. Verse 8. Wa, wafunge wafalme wao kwa minyororo na waku wao kwa pingu za chuma. Awa wafalme hao wafungi tu na minyororo hapana Tulianza sifa ziwe kinyuani mwa. Amen. I'm heading somewhere. Let's be together. Verse 10. Verse 10. Sorry, is it verse 10? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Verse 9. To execute upon them. That's the last verse, sorry. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. To do what? To execute. Kuafanya hukumu ilio andikwa. Kuna hukumu ilio andikwa. Bwana sifiwe. Hiyo ndiyo heshima ya watawa na wewe ni mtawa. Wake wote. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Kuna hukumu zimeandikwa. There is judgment written. And it is written here. Amen. There is judgment. Amen. God has promised to judge your enemies. Amen. There is judgment written. Hallelujah. Anything that is making you uh, to be in the same place for so long, it needs God's judgment. Amen. Because God, God, that is not God's plan for your life. Hallelujah. So you need to find out what is written so that you can enforce that judgment. Ha! And from this scripture, end of Psalm Pekeako, from verse 6, it is a praise, what praise does. Amen. I know there will be a month we will maybe touch on praise uh, as God leads us. What praise does? What praise what does? Look at uh, Peter and Silas. Huh? Paul, Paul and Silas. Praise the Lord. They were alikuwa kwa gereza. Bwana asifiwe. Akukuwa na sheria ambayo gea watoa pale. Manake mfalo menia lisema wafungu. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini walipuanza kusifa. I mean kusifu. Amen. Walipuanza kusifu. God executed judgment. Amen. He executed judgment that was written. Oh, praise the Lord. Judgments. Judgments of God. Another example, I love this. Uh, in Psalm 8, 9. Eighty-nine, twenty to twenty-two, twenty to twenty-three. Judgments. Ukumu. Psalm eighty-nine, eighty-nine. Psalms eighty-nine, verse twenty. Nimemona Daudi mtumishi wangu nimempa kama futa yangu matakatifu. Aha, uh -huh, twenty-one. Ambaye mkono wangu utakuwa thabiti kwake. Na mkono wangu utamtia nguvu. Amen. Verse uh, 22. Adui. Soma hapo. Adui hata muonea. Wala mwana uovu. Hata fanya nini? Hata mtesa. That is a judgment. Praise the Lord. That is a judgment. So there's something you can be doing against the servant of God. Or the man of God. And you're attracting this judgment to yourself. Verse 23. And I will beat down his force before his face. Can you see that? And plague them that hate him. So this, this was being spoken to David. Okay? And it is true to the men of God. So anyone, David had this courage. That if this, God has said this. And remember he's the one writing it. Can you imagine? He's the one writing it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He knew if anyone dared his life. There's a, there's a judgment against anyone that dares him. Ah, Praise the Lord. Yes. I, God also told uh, Joshua, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Praise the Lord. So anywhere Joshua went, you don't just, he'll pass with you. Amen. Because God has said, anyone that stands against you, ah, 
no one will be able to stand praise the lord and now when you see that in the scripture ukiona hiyo maandiko unachukulia kama yako unasema oh maybe you are going somewhere amen na kuna mtu anazingatia pale usipate ile kazi unamwambia god no one shall be able to stand against me amen as i'm going there lord go before me praise the lord clear them out of the way that's how you use the word as an instrument amen use the word uh, we just read from Psalm 149 that the, the two edges sword should be in your hand. And remember the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Praise the Lord. That's how you use it. It's for you to, you don't, the sword here, it has no use. Praise the Lord. You need to take it and start using that sword. That is Ephesians 6. Praise the Lord. It's the sword of the spirit. The sword, that is it. A two edged sword in your hand. Amen. Oh yes. Praise the Lord. There are judgments. And God does not God is still judging. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Remember what the Bible says whatever you plant God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man planted Galatians 6 the same shall he reap. Praise the Lord. The same shall he reap. Don't be found in that other part. Amen. You are sowing what you don't you, you are sowing what you don't want to harvest. Praise the Lord. Don't sow what you don't want to harvest in your life. Don't sow it to someone else. Amen. Don't do what you want to be done to you. Because God is not mocked. God cannot be mocked. Do not be deceived. Thank you. God is not what? Mocked. God is not what? Mocked. Yes. Praise the Lord. So be good to people. Hallelujah. Be good to people because God is still a righteous judge. He's called a judge. Judge. Amen. Judge. Ana majina mingi na hiyo ni moja yake. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Come on someone shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I cannot hear you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And then Psalm 105 verse 7. Psalm 105 verse 7. Talking about judgments, he says, He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. His judgments are in all the earth. Praise the Lord. Then Kapata, one of Israel, Kona Pata Musa, I'm a Solomon, and I'm boy, Lijambo, Nilipokuana, come and villain, leave your corner, Babayako Daudi. Ukienenda Katika and Jiazangu. Okay? I'm going to put instructions na Mungu. Na Nitaifadi Israeli, because you are obeying me. Praise the Lord. So napata kuna, kuna malu alikosea na mungu pia aka, aka refer to what he said. I will be with Israel. So sometimes he left them to their enemies because they disobeyed. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They disobeyed. Amen. I jumbo uh, that should be now the the fourth one. Nesama is one judgments. Number four. Testimonies. Testimonies testimonies still referring to the word of god testimonies ama shuhuda psalm 119 verse 24 shuhuda amen psalm 119 verse 24 the bible says thy testimonies also are my delight and my what counselors ah a testimony can be my counselor. So you are counselor nani? Tu wana kupati ushauri, counselor. Mshesi kamtu anenda counseling sessions. Counseling sessions. Manaki amelemewa na maisha. Anenda wapi? Counseling what? Sessions. Kwa hivyo, neno la mungu lineza kupatia therapy sessions. Amen. Counseling sessions. How? His testimonies. Ushuhuda, shuhuda zake. Ni ushauri. Ni washauri wangu. Amen. Ndizo furaha yangu na washauri wangu. Bwana sifiwe. Kuna shuhuda ziko katika Biblia na kuna shuhuda bado zina zina peano. Amen. Zinatolewa hapa. Wakati wa testimonies unasikia mtu anasema ah nifanya hivi nikafanya hivi na Mungu sasa amenibariki niko na hii na hii. Huo ni ushuhuda. Na inakwambia ah hata wewe unaweza kuwa katika ile hali na mtu amefanya chenye nikifanya chenye amefanya. That's the essence of testimonies. If I do what they did, you will get what? The same result. Because God is not mocked. God is not mocked. What you sow, you reap. 
Amen. So the actions that that person did to get a testimony. You shall receive your own. Amen. As you're listening to testimonies, listen to what did this person do to get this testimony. There is something he did. Either you obeyed an instruction from God's servant, it is your counselor. They are your counselors. Praise the Lord. And akafanya hilo jambo na hili jambo limemfanyikia. Bwana asifiwe. Either he sowed a seed and jambo likamfanyikia. Bwana asifiwe. He went for evangelism. And you are told as you go for evangelism, every, you are rewarded. It's a labor. Okay, you remember when you was on Sunday, you're here. Praise the Lord. So you go, ah, alienda, alienda evangelism. Angalia sasa akona, akona ushuda. O unasema pia mi wacha niende. Bwana sifiwe. Enda mpaka umake sure, umepate wa ushuda. Praise the Lord. Because iliandikwa, maushuda zimeandikwa hapa mingi sana. Ndiyo upate ushauri. Upate ushauri. Bwana sifiwe. Kama ni mtoto, kama hana. Wako ineza kuwa si mtoto. Lakini kuna jambo umekuwa kitamani kwa miaka. Bwana sifiwe. Hana alikuwa naenda shilo. Kuomba. Kila mwaka, kila mwaka. Lakini round hii. Hai. Hakasema hapa apana. Wacha ni badilishe. Bwana sifiwe. Nyeko tu nikiomba nataka watoto. Ndiyo penina juwe pia mina naweza pata watoto. Nona. Nile alikuwa naenda tu na hiyo motive. Lakini round hii akambia mungu kinipatia mtoto. Mwanaume nita kutolea kama sadaka. Mungu akasema sasa unaongea. Ok. Si na kubariki ndi uoneshane. Aa. Ah, Motif. Remember, some prayers are not answered because we pray amiss. Amen. Amen. That is a testimony you keep. You say, oh, let me examine my motive with what I'm asking God. Is it so that people can know I'm, I, I'm an SA member? Ah, is it so that my parents can know this? Sin uli ni toa wapi? Nina make it. You want to show them. Ah, praise the Lord. Check your motives. If that's why your prayers are not being answered. Motive from the book of James. Praise the Lord. Motive. Yes, James said, why do we war amongst ourselves? You have not because you ask not. Okay? You have not because you ask not. Hauna manake ujauliza. Bwana sifuwe. Ndiyo last time nikawambia mjifunze kuombea maitajimu. Bwana sifuwe. God cares about that need. Amen. That need. Say, so I only have, have one pant. Oh God. Praise the Lord. Ah, what did the heathen say? Remember, I love, I love David. <laughs> the David is, is one guy I really want to, to meet. I think he knew about God. There's something he knew about God that I don't think we get it. Praise the Lord. He would just tell God the way it is. Amen. Because I'm let not the, the let them not laugh at me saying, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Praise the Lord. What you have to Peter Pale when you check it? Anaomba, anaomba mungu. Why should, should the heathen say, where is your God? Law, why should the heathen say? Why should the unbelievers say, Law, where is my God? Oh God. Ha, ah, praise the Lord. <laughs> Show me a token for good. Amen. Hallelujah. Show me a token for good. At least let me be happy for once, oh God. You want me to be happy? He says, ask that your joy may be full. Amen? Yes, so listen, my evil. Ask so that your joy may be full. Answer cool, Lisa, so that God wants your joy full. Praise the Lord. Your joy full. If your joy is not full, my friend, have you asked? What is that making your joy not to be full? Have you asked? Praise the Lord. Have you, you just asked once and you left it. You left it. You left. Nasikia kama amele? Ana left. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amechoka rai group amefanya nini? Oh yes. Sasa Mungu anaangalia group. Ah ah, ya watu wanamuita hapa. Anaona I oh. <laughs> Sister so and so. You already left the group. Admit. What is happening? Praise God. We are living without receiving our answers. Praise the Lord. We are living without receiving our answers. We need to know how to be persistent in prayer. Amen. I don't know who that word is for, but let's, let's take note. Amen. Uh, that was uh, testimonies. 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 Now, 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 Israel wakienda katika the Daudi ya meyandika pale Zaburi. Akisema walisahau kazi zake. Walisahau venya liwatoa kutoka misri. Wakafika jangwani wakanza kukomplain because they forgot. They forgot the testimonies. Don't forget the testimony. Praise the Lord. Hold on to it. 
I've had many times someone say, I held on to that testimony. I held on to that word from the man of God. I held on to it. Unasema apa amesema hivi and God you cannot you cannot lie the words of your servant cannot fall to the ground let me hold on to this amen let me hold on you can be like Daniel who she killed for three weeks what was Daniel praying I really asked you the other day what was Daniel praying for three weeks in those days there was no praying the spirit at least now praying the spirit is helping you pray <laughs> those days I was not speaking in tongues guys but I come for three weeks akiomba mungu about one thing. Amen. He prayed, he did everything. But God and Sema Tangu Ata Venali decide to kuombe ilo jambo. Answer ilitolewa immediately. Okay? Na ikazuili wa wapi? Kwa anga. That's why he kept on praying until he received that, that is faith. That is faith. Faith will make you stay on that altar. Praise the Lord. Because what come and see faith in nini. Alko na jua mungu kwila naskia. Sindio? How come? Praise the Lord. How come? <laughs> Do you know who Daniel was? He was a very, very, very senior executive. Amen. Na wanajuanga naomba. Sa ataenda kuambia mfalme leo ni kama mungu wangu wa nijibu. Siwata mtharao unaujua likuwa mateka. He was a foreigner in a foreign land. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, Tano, that was testimony. All right, now 20. Verse 8. Are we there? Okay, and then I say, Magizo. Magizo, the same word. Magizo ya buwana ni adili, kufuraisha moyo, amri ya buwana ni sapi, kuyatia macho nolo. Magizo ya buwana, statues of the law. They are right, the sapi. The just thing they have, the commandments of the Lord is pure. The man of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. That is when come a ukumu. When I see you, a ukumu, you walk in them. You walk in the status of God. You walk in them. Um, they are God's regulations. They are regulations. 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 When the regulations are said, card. Okay. Come out of fire, heavy. Kama kwa mfano uze, uze product ambayo haijaekwa, hii mark ya kebs. Unake kebs ni regulation ya sheria, sheria serikali. Kipatikane na ambua, hata kama kitu yako ni safi kabisa, ni, ni uja danganya, ujaeka kitu mbaya mbaya, utashikwa manake, haina hiyo alama. Ni regulation. Amen. You follow it. You don't feel like following it. Ah, you follow it. If you want to be at peace with what? With the government. That is the statutes. Statutes. Praise the Lord. They are requirements. They are prescriptions. Statutes ni kama requirements ama prescriptions. Unaenda hospital unaambiwa hii dawa unakunywa mara moja kwa siku. Okay? Na useme nasikia baya zaidi nataka kunywa mara mbili. Haraka. Umeenda against what? Prescriptions. Praise the Lord. Mm. See, Bill, you attack. Statues are already there. They are written. Praise the Lord in the Word. You don't just, I said, as a Christian, at one hour, we find a village to attack. Village to attack. Upon one as if you. Amen. And finally, Psalm eighty-one. Eighty-one, uh, verse one. Eighty-one, verse one to uh, to five. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Verse two. Pazeni zaburi, pigeni 
matari kinufi uh, chenye sauti nzuri na kinanda ni hapo umefuata kutoka baswan ah pigeni panda mwandamo wa mwezi ma blow the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day okay verse 4 kwa maana ni sheria kwa Israeli ni hukumu ya Mungu kwa Yakobo. So utapata hata Israeli, Israeli ya kweli sasa. The, the nation of Israel wanafuata hii. Kila mwezi kama unapata kuna mambo yaliandikwa kwa Biblia, hii tu Biblia yetu tunasifiwe. Sema aidha kuna unasikia kuna feast of tabernacles, kuna feast of this ziko kwa Biblia kati wa Musa wanazifuata mpaka leo. Na kidogo za statutes angalia lakini angalia why did god say this this he ordained it joseph for a testimony mungu akuambia tu afuate for nothing akuambia waanze so kuimba mwezi kianza kama umefuata verse 4 3 mwezi kianza wanaambia waimbe wana sifuwe the beginning of new moon you see you see praise the lord blow the trumpet verse 4 verse 4 verse 4 sorry verse 4 uh bila sema For this was a statute for Israel. A statute for Israel. So mpaka leo wanafuata hii. Bwana asifiwe. Na even you ukipata ufunguo, you can follow the same and still get the same results. Kwa maana ni sheria kwa Israeli, ni hukumu ya Mungu wa Yakobo. Hallelujah. Then verse 5. Verse 5. Akasema kwa nini aliwaambia wafuate hii sheria? Manake kwa maana ni sheria uh, aliamuru iwe ushuhuda katika Yusuf bwana sifu he ordained it for a testimony so there are things if you do in the scriptures god you are you, you are you are setting yourself up for testimonies you know when someone is getting what I've just said there are things that you do in the scriptures kuna mambo utaona ni sheria ni hukumu ni nyingine ni amri bwana sifiwe na kutii kwako kwa hayo mambo ni ushuhuda unategemea au unatarajia bwana asifiwe you're setting yourself up for a test ah praise the lord hakuna mtu anaenda shule kama anajua after shule hakuna why do we go to school because the parents knows that tomorrow by my son will start something do a business at least atakuwa na hekima okay atakuwa na maarifa ataandikwa ama atapata kazi aanze kuandikana bwana asifiwe there is you are setting us unajua kuna venye umeji plan bwana asifiwe praise the lord so me following the scriptures the commandments the judgment the statutes i'm setting myself for a testimony they are for my good praise the lord they are for my good and simply hizo zote ni neno la mungu it is for my good bwana asifiwe for my good hallelujah let's be on our feet in the name of jesus oh hallelujah Let the Lord Father help me to follow your judgments, to follow your statutes. Yes Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yanaweza kuwa ni maagizo hata yajandikwa katika Biblia lakini Roho Mtakatifu amekuagiza. Enda atafute ni nini? Mimi ni kitu kinakugarimu wakati wako. Kitu kinakugarimu, ha? Fedha zako, kitu kinakugarimu your comfort. But ni Mungu amesema nifanyie hili. Fanya hili, fanya hili. Na wewe ukaacha yale maana unaona haya ni mambo mazito. Nataka kufuata hayo mambo. I want to follow law what you have commanded me. It can look abnormal, but it is an instruction. It is a command. It is a statute. Praise the Lord. Father in the name of Jesus, we receive grace of God. Lord to follow. Lord the instruction that you have given us that you have not obey. What you have disobey because it looks like too much work. Yet Lord you are setting us up. Lord you are setting us up for testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord and pray Holy Ghost. May you remind us in the name of Jesus bring such to our remembrance that Lord we shall not walk in rebellion. We shall not walk in disobedience in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe the Lord has told you to read this chapter, this book of the Bible. It is for your good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rekele brakataya labo, yekariba zikataya laba, sheteleria. Rekele brakazikataya babo, yekeli brakataya ba. Some prayers God has even shown you how to pray. Want to pray? He has given you the scriptures. But you need it one day, two day, three days, you are done with it. In the name of Jesus, receive 
of your word in the name of Jesus. Some of you, God, has God used the servant to instruct you on a way that you should go in the name of Jesus. But you say that this is too much. I cannot do it. May you receive grace in the service to perform that which you've had to do the instruction that came through the man of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive grace. Can we stretch our hands to the communion? Father, as we receive this communion, we receive the grace to be to us. We receive the grace to be to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I turn to the body and the blood of Jesus. Lord, the power to do that which you ought to do, that which you have instructed us to do, oh God. Lord, we receive it by this communion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you receive it? With joy and gladness.